Hello everyone, welcome to our channel. Chris here from Marksman's Creed. Thank you to everybody that's following along and watching our videos. I want to thank everybody for your support. So those of you that haven't seen any of our videos, um, we've been mostly using Savage Rifles. I wanted to give uh, Christensen Arms a try. Uh, I've heard very mixed reviews on Christensen Rifles. Um, so leave a comment uh, on this video. Uh, let us know what your experience with Christensen is, what you've heard, positive, negative. I've heard of many people um, having issues with Christensen, um, but I also hear a lot of people that uh, love them. So uh, I thought what better way to give it a test than to purchase one with my own money. Um, so we are not sponsored. We don't have any current rifle sponsorships. Uh, so uh, this should be an unbiased, unbiased review. Um, so I got a Christensen Arms MPR in 308. Uh, this is the 16 and a quarter inch barrel. Uh, so super short, compact. Um, it's got the pistol grip, folding stock. I am so excited uh, to take a peek at this. Uh, we're going to go all the way from unboxing to scope mounting to sighting it in, breaking in the barrel, um, getting it on, you know, getting good groups going. Um, and then I'm going to pull the muzzle brake off. I'm going to put a suppressor on it. Uh, basically get it ready for the fall. Uh, might even do a little bit more spring bear hunting. So without further ado, here it is. So this is how this rifle, rifle was shipped. Uh, straight from the factory. Uh, it comes with some styrofoam uh, around the muzzle and also around the stock. Just a gorgeous rifle. So first look at it, you have the carbon fiber. This is their new FFT. Uh, I think it's Flash Forge technology carbon fiber uh, on the cheek piece uh, and on the handguard. So a full uh, free float handguard around the barrel. The barrel is carbon fiber as well. Obviously you got the uh, muzzle brake on the end here that we'll be pulling off of there at some point. Um, yeah, gorgeous. Got it in the brown uh, color. Uh, I just love the look of that. Um, and then obviously the stock folds up, up over the, the bolt. Uh, obviously we'll get the bolt in here. So we'll put the bolt in. It has this bolt release button right here. Pull the bolt back out. Obviously it just slides right in. Closed, you have your fire safe. Comes with the rail already mounted on top. The bolt is spiral fluted. Um, so this uh, rifle, they say, starts at 6.9 pounds. So we'll throw it on the scale and uh, see what it weighs. But it is the most compact short version that Christensen offers, so I'm hoping it comes in right at that 6.9 pounds. Obviously you have some adjustability um, in your length of pull and your cheek height. Um, detachable five round magazine. It has a Trigger Tech trigger in it, the flat trigger. I don't know if you can see that, but it has the flat trigger on it. Um, it has a rail on the underneath of the handguard here to mount a bipod on. It has the M-lock slots on both sides. Um, pistol grip, just a sweet, sweet looking rifle. Um, yeah, been waiting for this one for about six months, so I'm super excited to finally get my hands on it. Feels pretty lightweight, nice and short, compact, and man when this fold, when this stock folds down it is extremely short. I mainly got the 16 inch barrel option because I wanted to run a, a suppressor uh, on the end here and not have it be too long. Um, I want this for kind of my packing through the woods brush beaten type gun, but I also want it to be able to reach out to about 500 yards. So my goal on this video is to get it out on paper to 500 yards. Um, 
sub MOA. Uh, I'm hoping to be around half minute groups. We'll see. Um, with most of my other rifles with hand loads um, and tinkering uh, with good quality components, I'm able to get right around that half minute of angle. So hopefully like a two and a half to three inch group uh, at that 500 yard mark. So we'll see what she's capable of. One thing I noticed right off the bat is this rail in the front here is a little narrower than um, everything I have on my other rifles. So this bipod's a little loose. I do believe I'll be able to remedy that by tightening, tightening this um, little screw there. I think that'll tighten that down, but it is a little bit loose. So I was able to tighten this up slightly. It still is a little bit loose on there. I'll have to play around with that a little bit more as I get time. So first impressions with the finish of this rifle. Uh, they did a really good job with it. I don't see any uh, anything that looks abnormal. Uh, it looks really, really clean. Uh, all the machining was very good. Um, yeah, even the carbon fiber uh, looks clean where these holes are. With that flash forge technology that they're using, um, it looks pretty good. So I do have um, a Vortex Razor LHT uh, in MOA. So this is a uh, so this is a 3 to 15 by 42 uh, objective, um, and it has the uh, it has the HSR 5i reticle. So it's MOA and it is second focal plane. So a 3 to 15 power will be perfect for this 308. Uh, I think that's going to do everything I need it to do out to 500 yards. With the 16 inch barrel, uh, we're likely to see some lower velocities. I know with uh, 308 shooting like 168 grain, Sierra Match King, you know, we're pushing like probably close to 2,800 feet a second with hand loads. Um, I'm hoping to get this close to 2,600. We'll see 16 inch barrel and everything, it's gonna be kind of tough, but um, it'll be exciting to see what we, can, what we can do with this one. So I'm gonna get this scope mounted up um, then we can put some rounds on paper. This Vortex Razor LHT is super lightweight. We're looking at 19 ounces, just over 19 ounces, um, for a very high quality, uh, awesome scope. So that looks about perfect from a level standpoint. Love this uh, scope. It's perfect on this nice lightweight rifle. Oh man, that feels good. I'm gonna be able to pack that thing around and get on an animal quick. Obviously we're, we're clear. Uh, this flat trigger will take a little bit to get used to, but uh, it feels pretty light. I would say probably around three pounds, two and a half, three pounds if I had to guess. So before I even take the muzzle brake off or anything, I want to shoot it in its uh, stock factory configuration. That's going to give it a fair chance to meet the accuracy standard. They say it's sub MOA. Uh, it's a sub MOA guarantee. So uh, we're going to go see if that's going to live up to its guarantee. So with this rifle came the, uh, an Allen wrench. Uh, so I'm gonna use that to adjust the uh, cheek comb up just slightly and then the length to pull out just slightly. That is the perfect setup for me. Now I think we're ready to rock. So the only thing left to do with this rifle um, before I start shooting it on paper is to get it bore sighted. So now I got the crosshairs lined up perfectly on that shovel handle that my bore is lined up perfectly on. Uh, I think I should be able to hit paper at 100. So 
I got my fresh target set up. I'm ready to shoot the Christensen Arms MPR 308. All right, so I have a magazine loaded up, three rounds. I'm gonna put three on paper. Uh, should be pretty close to right on the money. Got my earplugs in. This baby's gonna be loud. Got my lab radar chronograph set up. So uh, hopefully we can get uh, good velocities. We'll see where we're at. Feeds very smooth out of the mag. So, first shot reading was 25.73. Not too bad, it's showing 26.50 on the box, so pretty dang good. All right, shot number two. So now I got it pretty close to zero. So we'll go and shoot a three shot group. So there's the data. Uh, it only registered five shots, but 2545 average velocity. So shot number one has quite a bit left and high. And I made an adjustment and I must uh, uh, did something weird because I adjusted way too far down. Brought it up pretty good. Adjusted it up four inches. And then those were the next three shots. Um, I didn't adjust it on any of those three right there. So that is... Um, a sub MOA rifle on the first three shot group shots four five and six on that barrel so next steps with this rifle uh, are to take it out and shoot it with the same factory ammo that I was using with the stock brake on it. Uh, just verify that everything looks good there. I will shoot it suppressed um, and just make sure uh, accuracy is good and then I'm going to start working up some hand loads. All right, so I got a bunch of stuff loaded up for the 308 here. Uh, I'm gonna put them on paper at 100 yards. Uh, I got the suppressor mounted up. The factory 168's shot not very well uh, at 100 yards. That was my first three shots. Then I came down with a starting load, um, pretty big group, went a little hotter with my load, shot a pretty good group with the 168 spear target bullets. Then I shot three 168 burger targets, uh, shot really well, uh, under half an inch. <laughs> Alright guys, so I've proven that these 168 burgers shoot 
just lights out in this 308. So now I've got some loaded to mag length because I've been running 15 thou off the lands. And so I'm going to see if running mag length they're going to still shoot good. I imagine I'll get a little higher velocity, a little higher pressure. Um, but we're going to track all that. So loaded to mag length, fed through the magazine perfectly. Shot not so good. Got a little better velocity and my group opened up quite a bit. All right, so cartridge length test complete. First round shot at magazine length. Probably right about an inch. Then I took the exact same load, loaded it just off of the rifling, about 15 thou. That's the sweet spot with pretty much every rifle that I have. Then I shot three more right after that at mag length. So that's almost two inch group. So that's just not going to work. <clears throat> so gives you an idea the difference loading them long so it's probably a quarter inch group right there loaded uh, out up to the rifling about 15 thou off and that's why I do that every rifle I have has been pretty much duplicated this exactly I decided to make the switch from the Burger VLDs to the Burger Classic Hunters the VLDs just wouldn't fit in the magazine loaded long. Uh, the classic hunters should work uh, just fine and shoot equally as well. These 168 classic hunters, I can load them 15 thou off the lands and they still fit in the magazine uh, easily. And they shoot lights out. Been shooting half inch groups or better uh, pretty much all the way through my load development. So this is my final load that I decided on. Uh, and I'm getting 2650 feet per second velocity. One thing I didn't mention earlier is I swapped out this Magpul grip for this MDT uh, grip. It's got a lot, lot larger palm swell, uh, fits my hand much better. Overall, this rifle did everything I expected it to and then some. Uh, it's extremely accurate, nice, short, compact, uh, lightweight, nice to carry around. Uh, it just is an awesome overall rifle worth every penny that was spent. I uh, hope you guys enjoyed this video, uh, but I definitely am going to be shooting this thing a lot. Uh, hopefully take a few animals with it this next year, uh, but I'm excited to get it out into the woods. Thanks.